Hi, everybody. We've got got folks uh, filtering in here, so I'll I'll give it a minute or two for for the folks on the call to join. But we've got Coach Chris Kleiman here for uh, media availability, following selection for the Pop Tarts Bowl. Uh, the K State Wildcats will be playing the uh, North Carolina State Wolfpack here in Orlando's Camping World Stadium on December 28th. That's a Thursday. Kickoff's going to be 5.45 p.m. Eastern, 4.45 Central. TV will be ESPN. Uh, and we're uh, we're looking forward to having you, Coach. This is your uh, your first Florida Bowl trip, as I understand it. Certainly your first Pop-Tarts Bowl trip uh, for, for K-State. And uh, you can open us up with a, a, an opening statement, and then we'll, we'll take questions from the crowd. Uh, if you have a question on the call, please use the raise hand button, and we'll uh, we'll tee you up and then unmute you and let you know when you can ask a question. Uh, in any case, we'll, we'll move on with it. And uh, Coach, if you can give us an opening statement, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And uh, happy to be on the call with everyone. Can't uh, tell you how excited uh, we are here at K-State Football to get an inv invitation and accept uh, uh, our bid to the Pop-Tarts Bowl. Uh, it's going to be fun to go down to Orlando with our football team. Um, I know K-State Nation is going to travel in droves uh, to Orlando and, and celebrate a, a great game for our first bowl game down in Florida. Um, and can't thank uh, Steve Hogan enough and, and, and his crew for um, inviting us. And um, I know our players are really excited about this opportunity. Our families and, and, and staff are excited about it. I know our fan base is. And uh, we'll uh, start getting to work uh, right away and, and getting our preparations uh, for a, a really good North Carolina State team. Uh, that I've got a ton of respect for Coach Dorn. known him for a while, and uh, I know they're a terrific team and should be a heck of a game uh, here in late December. Appreciate that, Coach. We'll uh, we'll get started here with our first question from Kels Robinette. Kels, you can go ahead when you're ready. Yeah, Chris, uh, congrats on the bull spot here. Um, pres uh, I'm presuming that uh, Avery Johnson is going to start a quarterback in the bowl game. What kind of uh, unique opportunity is that for you guys to, you know, kind of peek into the future with them and for him to get that experience? Yeah, Avery will be the, Avery will be the guy, and, and uh, you're right, it, it kind of is um... – uh, a finish of the 2023 season with all the great seniors that are going to play in this bowl game. And then it also is a springboard to the 2024 season um, with Avery at the helm. And, and we've got a lot of skilled guys that uh, have been really productive for us. And he's going to get that opportunity to, to be the guy behind center. And I know that uh, coach Klein's really excited to come up with a game plan for Avery and uh, Avery's uh, earned this opportunity. He's waited for this opportunity. He's played good football when we've asked him to, uh, earlier this year, but uh, now it's his show. Question for Coach. You can raise your hand. I think, uh, do we have another one from Kellis? Kellis, go ahead if you have another one. Um, sure. Um, do you know when you might uh, have any opt-outs or when you might hear anything on that front before the bowl game? You know, um, we've kind of met with a lot of our players uh, last week and um, I think everybody's really excited about playing uh, one more time together in this bowl game. So um, I, I, I don't have an answer right now as far as that, but I know that uh, um, we have so many seniors that uh, want another opportunity uh, to play with their brothers. And so uh, I'm confident that uh, um, we'll have a great showing and, and have uh, most, if not all of our seniors uh, participating. All right, we'll take our next question from Tim Everson. Tim, you can go ahead when you're ready. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I'm, I, I was curious about backup quarterback-wise. I know with with uh, with Jake and, and Adrian hitting hit the portal, you're kind of left with, with Jacob, and I know that his status is kind of up in the air. Is that just kind of looking at, guys on the roster that have that have played quarterback or how is that what, what's kind of the process with that yeah we haven't really dove into that um we're pretty confident that uh, jacob knuth will be the backup um and uh, uh he's going to be a really good football player here he ran our scout team here this year and i'm excited for jacob to have that opportunity to work with coach klein um and, and be that backup guy and then we've got a couple of guys that, that used to be quarterbacks whether it be on our roster or in high school. So we'll we'll have a good plan for that. All right, we've got a question for Coach. You can use the raise hand button to let us know. Uh, 
Oh, we got another one from Kellis Robinette. Kellis, go ahead. Yeah, back to me, Chris. Uh, give me some early impressions on uh, North Carolina State. You mentioned you got a lot of respect for Dave, but what kind of jumps out to you about them at this early stage? Um, I can't tell you that, Kellis, because I've been on the road all week and we just found out that we're playing them. But I've watched Dave's team play in the past and they're always really physical. Um, they, they always play really good defense and they've always had really good skill kids on offense in the games that I've seen them play. They're so well coached. Uh, and, and so I, I know that uh, um, people in Orlando are going to be excited about this matchup because it's uh, two really good football teams and really good programs that are continuing to rise up um, in the minds of the ACC and in the Big 12. And so it, I think it's going to be just a great game. We'll take another one from Tim. Tim, you can go ahead when you're ready. Uh, Chris, how, how crazy is, is this time of year? I mean, you're dealing with trying to figure out who's coming back senior-wise. You're dealing with transfers. You're dealing with preparing for the bowl game. How 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 stressful is this for, for you and your staff? Well, it's what college football is. And, um, you know, everybody has to adapt and adjust and evolve, whether or not you're – stressed by it, frustrated by it, excited by it. It's just what it is. And it's it's not just a, a handful of, of institutions that are going through it. It's everybody at all levels. It doesn't matter if you're uh, Division three, Division two. II. I've, I've talked to my friends at FCS, uh, to Group of Five, to Power Five. There's coaches changing jobs back and forth. It's just that's the landscape of what we're in in college football. And and so what excites me is is getting this these guys together, our, our, our team back together on Monday with Coach True and our strength coach uh, while we're on the road recruiting and starting to um, start that build up for the bowl game. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of crazy things going on in college athletics right now. Coach, we'll uh, take – Tim, do you have another one? I see your hand up. Yeah. Oh. All right. Do we have any more questions for Coach? Uh, raise your hand with the raise hand function. If you do, we'll uh, we'll take the next one from Glenn Kinley. Glenn, go ahead. Having trouble connecting to Glenn. Glenn, I'll get to you in just a second. All right, Glenn, can you hear us? Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Coach, I'm wondering, I know we're talking about the bowl game now, but I'm wondering if you could just touch on the conversations that led up to Will's decision to enter the transfer portal and kind of what he means to you and to this program. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep a lot of those in private, Glenn, um, with, out of my respect for Will. Um but uh, I'm excited about Will's future, whether that's uh, at the NFL next year or at another school. I don't know what he's going to decide to do. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of leave it at that. There's nothing at all wrong with, with my relationship uh, with Will Howard. It's very strong. I love the kid. Um, we shared an awful lot this week when I had an opportunity. I've got nothing but respect for him uh, and appreciate what he did for K-State and what he's done for me and my family. And I believe it's reciprocated on what I've done for Will and his family. So nothing but admiration for him. And uh, one thing I know is I want the best for Will Howard. Thank you, Coach. We'll take, take another one from Kellis Robinette. Kellis, you can go in here whenever you're ready. I got to ask you this one, Coach. What's your favorite um, flavor of Pop-Tart? Oh, boy. Um, probably chocolate fudge. Okay. You eat go. a lot of those growing up? I did. I probably would tell you right now, Kellis, I, I don't have any in the house right now and probably haven't for a few years since uh, Colby went to college. Um, but uh, we had a lot of Pop-Tarts when uh, kids were uh, little in there and, and uh, have enjoyed an awful lot of them. But uh, there's not many flavors I probably don't like because um, I've had a lot growing up as a kid. Coach, we can fix that for you and get you some fudge Pop-Tarts here, uh, here, here in short order. <laughs> do, do we have any uh, we have ability to get some we we, we know a guy uh and, and the, uh, do we have any other questions for coach uh, from the room
All right, not seeing any hands, Coach. So we uh, we appreciate your time and thank you for for uh, your patience. And then we look forward to hosting you down here in Orlando in a couple of weeks. So uh, you know, we'll safe travels on the road and happy holidays. Appreciate it. Same to you. We'll see you soon. All right, thank you, Coach. And we will have uh, NC State Coach Dave Doran here with us shortly. Uh, might be a few minutes, probably ten minutes or so, uh, but we'll we'll get rolling here in a, in a little bit. So if you are waiting for Coach Doran, just hang on, and we'll uh, we'll have him have him soon. Thanks for your patience. We'll be right back.
Everybody just quick check in while we uh, wait to get started with the other half of our Pop Tarts Bowl uh, head coach press conference. My name is Sam Gardner. I'm our senior director of uh, marketing communications here at Florida Citrus Sports, which operates the Pop Tarts Bowl and the Cheese at Citrus Bowl, among other events here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, Pop Tarts Bowl will be December 28th, Thursday at 5 45 p.m. Eastern between Kansas State and North Carolina State. Uh, the game will be at uh, Camping World Stadium here in Orlando. We'll air on ESPN. Uh, we uh, look forward to having both teams down here, and we're expecting Coach Doran with us in a few minutes. So if you can just uh, give us a couple more minutes, we'll we'll have Coach with us, and we'll uh, we'll get on our way. Uh, again, the procedure here: we'll have a uh, uh, the raise hand button is our our key. Uh, if you if you need to ask a question or would like to ask a question, raise your hand. We'll get to as many of them as we can, and we'll call on you one by one as the time uh, comes to to ask. So we'll uh, we'll give you a heads up before we unmute you, and then we'll ask you to uh, unmute 
before uh, making you live. So with that, uh, I think Coach will be joining us here in a minute and we'll uh, we'll get started. Thank you. What? What? What do you want? What? All right. It looks like we've got a coach joining us. Uh, coach, coach Dorn, we appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for hopping on the call. We look forward to having you down here in the uh, the Pop-Tarts Bowl. Thank you. I'm excited. Who am I talking to? I don't see your face on here.
All right, Coach. Sorry, sorry about that. We can uh, we'll get you started with a, an opening statement if we can, uh, and then we'll we'll open the floor for questions. Uh, after that, we'll see a task question for the folks on the call. You use the raise hand tool or the raise hand function at the bottom, and uh, we'll call on folks one by one and unmute you when it's time to to roll. But uh, Coach, if you can start us off with an opening statement, we'd appreciate it, and then uh, we'll get rolling. Yeah, super excited for NC State and uh, the Wolfpack uh, Nation. To come down to Orlando uh, as an assistant coach at Wisconsin, I was a part of this game, and as an assistant coach at Kansas, and it was a phenomenal experience for our athletes, uh, our staff, our children, and so we're very thankful for the invite, excited to play against a great school, great institution like Kansas State, I have tremendous respect for them, their coach, um, Coach Kleinman, and, and their president, who actually came from NC State, Rich Linton. Uh, great program, and, and so I know our team, staff, and fan base cannot wait to come down to Orlando and be a part of the experience. Okay, with that, we'll, we'll open the floor for questions. Our first question comes from Jaden Watson-Fisher. Jaden, you can go ahead when you're ready. Dave, what was your, like, what was that waiting period like for y'all? Yeah, um, I was in a home visit during most of it, so I was trying to recruit. <laughs> but um, it was a weird day in college football, to say the least. And so thankful we ended up where we did. I think it's uh, a great place. Uh, thankful to the bowl selection committee for us and Michael Strickland, Jim Phillips, and, and all the people involved. I think this was the right location for us to go. Since we've been in some of the other bowls, I think this is for our fans to be able to travel to Orlando an awesome destination for us. And, you know, this is what we were hoping for. Hey, Coach, we'll take a take one from Kellis Robinette of the Wichita Eagle. Uh, Kellis, you can go ahead when you're ready. Yeah. Um, Coach, being a Kansas City guy, working at Kansas previously in your tenure, um, just kind of what, what are some memories you have of the Wildcats over the years? You know, I grew up in Kansas City um, before Coach Snyder was there, and it wasn't much of a program. And um, when I came back from my freshman year of college, Coach Snyder had taken over and turned that program around, and and that was the beginning of what became an incredible turnaround in college football. Um, have so much respect for Kansas State for what Coach Snyder did uh, twice, and now Coach Kleinman and. You know, had a great rivalry there between us when I was at Kansas with Coach Mangino, who also came from Kansas State, from that tree, and uh, working under Brett Bielema, who was a part of that tree as well. So, you know, I have nothing but great admiration and respect for the Kansas State football program and university. And growing up there, I know a lot of people that uh, are alumni to, the, to Kansas State. So looking forward to playing them, and I know they'll have a great turnout from their fans as well. All right, we'll take our next one from Ethan Dowell. Ethan, uh, you can go ahead whenever you're ready. Hey, Coach. In the past, you've talked about how um, you know December used to be a really, really fun month for um, college football. You do your recruiting, your bowl prep and all of that. And now it's kind of changed a little bit. Is Selection Sunday still one of those days where um, you know that joy is still there? It can be. You know, I think it depends on where you end up. And for us, this is definitely a joyous uh, Sunday. You know, we had a recruiting weekend, had some great young men and their families here. And uh, like I said, I went to a home visit and drove back to my house here uh, to be around my family. And, and now find out we get to go to Orlando, Florida and be a part of a great bowl experience. So it's been a great day, great weekend. And if you have a question for Coach, uh, use the raise hand tool. Uh, we've got one from Rob McLam. Rob, go ahead when you're ready. Yeah, Dave, you mentioned you had an experience with the uh, the bowl game in Kansas. Was that against NC State? It was. You, know, you remember well, that, sir? Philip Rivers' last college game was not good. <laughs> he played really well. But that was a great bowl experience, to say the least. And uh, Champs Bowl, as it was then, which then turned into the Camping World Bowl. We played in the Capital One Bowl against Arkansas. My first year at Wisconsin, uh, when they had 
McFadden and Felix Jones in the backfield. We won that game. Um, and then we played Miami in, in the Champs Bowl and beat them uh, and played really well that night. And so uh, all three times I've been there, it's been a phenomenal experience for the families, for the players, and uh, looking forward to another opportunity to play there. For the good of the order, Champs Bowl, Camp Fig World Bowl, Pop Tarts Bowl, all, all the same family, uh, all the same lineage. And uh, you know, this is the, the latest iteration of it. We're in the first year of the Pop Tarts Bowl, and we look forward to having you. Our next question will come from Luke Notestein. Uh, Luke, you can go whenever you're ready. Coach, just the, the way that you guys were able to finish the season on such a strong note, what does it say about the character of this team that, that you guys were able to play so well and, and to earn this big uh, big opportunity here? Well, it says a lot you know, about the perseverance and grit of this football team, the staff. We came together in a tough time, uh, went through, you know, some difficult things in the middle of the season, and it really, you know, galvanized our team and brought us closer together. Um, we were able to rattle off five in a row to finish the season, which has only been done, I think, one time in 100 years at NC State. So very proud of the legacy this team has created for itself, and, Look forward to an opportunity to uh, compete for a 10th win, which, again, is a, is a monumental thing here at NC State. So we're excited for this opportunity and to get to do it at such a great bowl game against a great competitor. It's going to be an awesome opportunity. Hey, Coach, we'll take our next one from Noah Fleischman. Noah, you can go whenever you're ready. Hey, Coach, kind of sticking with the, the theme of the bowl, do you have a favorite Pop-Tarts flavor? I'm going to go with the uh, brown sugar. Pretty strong. Made no coach. We'll let you know. We'll get some to you ASAP. <laughs> My wife likes strawberry, just so you know. Duly noted. <laughs> Do we have any more uh, questions for coach from the room? Uh, I see another one from Rob, Rob McClam. Rob, you can go ahead when you're ready. Yes, sir, Dave. Uh, you know, what are, what are the type of things that you, I don't know what, experiences you said it's a great player experience what were type of things you your kids got to do when they went to Orlando those bowl games what are some of the things you think yeah. uh, they'll get to do well there's multiple theme parks as you know um and so you know whether you're talking about Sea World or Disney World um Universal I can't remember is it Treasure Island the, the other one but just it seemed like there was something every day the guys could go do and coaches you know a lot of our our Coaches have children and their wives and kids can go be a part of that. Um, so just a multitude of things, you know, the roller coaster rides. I know the players were big on that. I, I didn't partake in that. But uh, the golf course at the hotel, you know, the restaurants, you name it. There's just a ton to do, you know. And each time I went there, it was sometimes when you go to a bowl, it's the same as every time. And each time we went there, it was a little different, which I really liked. Got time for a couple more from Coach. If you have a question, you can use the raise hand tool. And I see one, another one from Luke. Luke, you can go ahead when you're ready. Coach, you know, this time of year, I mean, it really is a, a time for, for players to enjoy themselves, you know, uh, to spend time with family and stuff, but to be able to do, to be together with your team again in such a fun venue, how much of a celebration can this be for the program for the, for the season that you've had? I told the guys that after um, our last win, I said, we're going to go to a bowl game. I'm not sure where it's going to be. And we're going to have more fun um, than any other team in the country. We're going to enjoy each other's company one more time and really revel in the brotherhood and the family that we've created. And I enjoy that, you know, enjoy the process of getting ready to win a game and what it means to be somewhere together. A lot of teams don't get to go to a, a place like we're going to go to and, and enjoy that opportunity to go compete with each other one more time. Appreciate that, Coach. No, did you have another question? I see your hand up, but I can't remember if you put it down earlier. Yeah, Coach, you talked about I guess the, the 10 wins, you know, how big would that be for this program to be able to do that, you know, in a year like this? Well, it's never happened at NC state. We've had an 11 win team and a bunch of nine and eight sevens and so on, but never a 10. So 
in over 135 years of football, it'd be a first time. And so anytime you can break ground into something over a period that long, it's meaningful to say the least. So this game means a lot to our football program. The guys are going to play really hard. All right, we'll go back to another question from Jaden. Jaden, you can go whenever you're ready. Okay, we have heard that there will be an edible mascot. Um, you know, if, if y'all win, do we get to see you taking a giant bite out of a, a massive Pop-Tart? Man, I, I guess I would have to, wouldn't I? I'm not going to be the guy that doesn't do that. So, you know, as long as it's... Uh, I don't know. What flavor is it going to be? Do we know? I don't think I'm at liberty to divulge that information yet. Okay. Well, then maybe I'm not at liberty to answer the question. How's that? That's fair. <laughs> we have any more questions for Coach from the room? If you do, raise can your I hand. Can I, chase it, can I chase down the Pop-Tart with a nice, nice... Uh, bourbon or something like that afterwards is that part of the pop tart experience or not which i think we could arrange that if you want it we, we'll make it a whole tasting okay then i think i'm in that sounds good uh, i don't see any more questions from the room so unless somebody pops up here we'll uh we'll let you get going and uh appreciate you making the time and doing this on on uh, you know on, a, on your sunday evening I'm sure all you've right got guys it. we'll see you soon again. we'll all see right, you thanks, soon coach. bye and with that, that'll uh, close out our Pop-Tarts Bowl head coach availability. Uh, if you are also covering the Citrus Bowl, we'll have Coach Heupel from Tennessee at about 6 on that link. Uh, if not, uh, you'll you'll get further information from us about uh, credential applications, uh, media itinerary, so on and so forth. We'll send all that out here shortly through the SID. Um, and we look forward to having everybody down here. Thank you again for joining us, and we'll uh, we'll see you in Orlando. Awesome. Thank you.